all right guys welcome back to my channel now my last video was a bit of a rant and maybe a little bit of a rant in this one but kwa yeah the quality control shit it's not good not good at all very disappointed so much so that I sent him a message yeah, I probably won't get a reply one person never gets noticed but a hundred thousand people stands out quite a bit so really the point of this video is is that sometimes with things that you buy and the way to put together is not acceptable at all a warranty generally means if there's a fault at the factory the factory pay the seller to fix it now the people who fixed it for me BZ Tactical they told me that the factory issue where it was sent out with only one shim in the gearbox leaving the bevel gear to bounce around like a fucking marionette said that they can't do anything about that which I kind of understand but why didn't they get on to KWA that, that one's burning in me now I'm going to keep trying to get all the KWA and see if they'll answer for it and tell me if there was a genuine mistake I'm kind of hoping there is and they'll sort it out or I'm not holding my breath not with these people in the east because quite literally like I said at the beginning of the video quality control is for shit no good as a matter of fact the two best AEGs that I've bought to date or maybe three or maybe four I'll lose count anyway are exceptional and half the price New Pro which is now Vosk and Double Bell and Golden Eagle oh and I've just come across a new one Evolution which is Italian apparently and is interestingly good but right where are we just a sec oh there you are hiding behind me oh I want to pop a battery in this where's my battery where is my battery give me a second while I get back to it Let's just pop a battery in this bad boy quick. Right, there's a the battery. Now, before you say it, I'm not wearing eye pro because I know there's nothing in them. Check them all all the rest of it so you seen the review on this where I was really happy with it and at the time I was but I wasn't paying attention and it does pay to pay attention so on safe now then this has been upgraded by these hands as you probably well know from last rant anyway I never fired it for you or turned the gearbox over so have a listen not bad is it do it again full auto this time by the way yes it's working properly it really is 
and I'm happy with the work I've done because it's better than KWA's work in this gearbox. As a matter of fact, considering that I'm a novice at this, it's far superior and absolutely makes a mockery of KWA's work. A novice is far better than the company that make it. What a bunch of toss pots. Uh, anyway, I've whinged about that one long enough. Let's get to something that I've also upgraded. This is much better now, like I say, because I worked on it and I'm a novice. And I'm far better than a multinational company that sells all over the world. And sends out crap. Enough said. Ugh. Well, the AEGs anyway. Now, I've upgraded another one. And I've just recently put a motor in it and tested it. Yeah. Paint job's not as good as KWA's, but believe me, the build quality out of the box, far superior and half the price. Yes, a double bell. Go figure, eh? Anyway, I did break it, mainly because of my own fault, spamming the hell out of it. But, I upgraded it. Now, I used Red Dot Engineering's gears, which turned out to be rather nice. And I've also stuck in a base warhead motor in a 180 quid gun. <laughs> Wait till you hear how snappy this thing has become. Now, it's a much stronger motor, so I don't know if it's going to break anything just yet, but we will see. So, again, nothing in it, pointing in a safe direction, have a listen to Sammy. And let's have a listen to Full Auto. That's with an 11 one in it. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. As a matter of fact, very happy. Now, even with the pricey motor and the reasonably priced gears, it was a couple of hundred quid cheaper than KWA's. And this is turning out to be a far superior gun. Definitely recommend Double Bell. All day long. And Golden Eagle. But mostly double bell. That thing is just the build, the physical build quality of the externals is just epic. And now that I've done what I've done inside it, <laughs> yeah, I'm taking that out this week. Right. So, anyway, getting back to. I can't even, I don't even want to pronounce the name. But, I will, for the sake of this video, KWA do good gas blowbacks. Now, they take more care, but the breakdown of them is much simpler, so it's easy to do. Hmm. Disgusting habit. 
giving airsoft companies a good arse ripping in it. And I can't actually think of worse things in the world and I don't like doing it. But on the good side of KWA, gas pullbacks. Not bad, is it? And yes, I have checked it's empty and I've pulled the spring down so I can dry fire it. <laughs> and it's a really good build quality. KWA, what the fuck are you guys doing making bullshit fucking AEGs? and exceptional gas blowbacks. Stick to what you're good at, for the love of God. These things, epic. AEGs, not worth shit. Unless you want to take a really expensive gun and then spend more money on it, upgrading it, so it actually works properly. <coughs> so what do you say to that? Well, I'll never buy another AEG KWA, never. Not in your life. But I will buy another gas blowback after I've seen a few reviews, a specific one, maybe, maybe not. Might get it from another company when they copy it. Which will probably be ten times better than yours. But, like I say, can't, can't fault gas blow back. Even ones that fault a bit. Like the teeny weeny we're in to do. But, again. Still. And I'm going to hold the bolt down on this one. Yeah. Nice gun. Well made. Solid externals. Good gas blowback system. Because I don't care who makes a gas blowback. They all suffer from cool down because that's what gas does. Just part of the game, but still an excellent piece of kit. Now, WE actually trump them on that to a degree, but again, they've all got the, the issues. I've got to get some really small roll pins for this. Not a happy bunny, anyway. Really good internals. Now, while we're on the uh, subject of reasonably priced airsoft, Evolution, full metal construction, but they've not put too many bells and whistles to the exterior like trades and crap like that. But what they have done is put beautiful internals in them. Upgraded gearbox built in. Good quality type ball barrel. Decent hot rubber of a nondescript make, but it does work. This thing flies BBs like there's no tomorrow. I should really put a telescopic sight on this for the reach it's got. But I have got it for short range and short range, 30, 40, 50 meters, you don't miss. It flies that straight. And the Mark 18 is as well. Mm. Yeah. Bloody good quality. Should have put a battery in it. What do you reckon? Put a battery in it? All right. I'll let you have a listen to what this gearbox sounds like in an AEG. Seven four big brick. 
here we go again safe check the mags not bad not bad for a 7.4 and like I say this thing can launch them very happily and up to now each time I've taken it out it has worked brilliantly I'll find a case for that in a minute yeah <coughs> cracking bit of kit love it love it love it oh just before hand Let's pop this back back on it. So we don't lose its butt pad. Complete. And it comes with a sling, double sided. Yay, sling point. Right, well, there you go, guys. KWA, AEGs, don't trust them, never will again. Now, after having to upgrade a really expensive bit of kit rifle back there, I have had it two years, but I've had that new Pro for nearly four years. And it has never failed once. Not once. I've had that new pro up there. The Freedom Fighter. I messed about with it. I know it just shoots on full auto. So I've probably got to replace the selector plate in it. But. That'll be the only thing I'm replacing that gun. And I've had that longer. And that was far cheaper than KWA's. New Pro, Vosk, whatever the friggin' hell are calling themselves now. Their guns may get a bit of a butt ripping, but I trust them. And they're cheap, a lot cheaper than these things. And even with the upgrades, you can make them ten times better than these things. And then they become exceptional. And one thing you don't have to replace in them. Are the pistons because they already come with a steel rack in it a standard 6.3 in a barrel a reasonable hop unit and uh, yeah everything else in them is pretty much meat pie and chips it's simple but it works so yeah sometimes spending vast amounts of money on something expensive isn't really a good idea like bolster armories, hand made, put together bits of kit. Exceptional, everything inside of them. Built by a few guys in a little garage type thing going on. And I've only heard a couple of downsides, but as soon as you get in touch with them, they go back. They get fixed, they get tested, they get sent back. And then you really don't ever hear from that person again. So sometimes spending a lot of money for the service in advance could be a good idea. But £1,400 for an AEG, that is a lot of money. But if you've got it and you want to spend it, pff, totally down to yourselves. Now... As you know by my YouTube channel, my ex collection has got quite big. Anyway, by the buys. A lot of the guns I do buy 
are relatively cheap. Gas blowbacks I'll spend a little bit more on. And I did try it once with an AEG to... Now it turned out to be a mistake and I won't do that again. But, gas blowbacks. I like them for the authentic side. The close replication in the real steel world. Again, airsoft toys, and this is for the algorithm, are played in controlled environments and are never seen in public. So, but yeah, I do like the gas blowbacks. Now, this one has had a bit of a rough ride out of the gate, mainly because Crytac used cheap shit metal in a certain point and half asked the uh, couple of operating bits inside around the bolt and the springs dickheads so I saw this heavily greased it now this thing has really got some range but where it falls down a bit jump a lot of but if you grease it properly and in warmer days, this will work exceptionally well. And I do use the middle grade of gas in this, which seems to work nicely. But, yeah, cool down. But the aluminium mags, so they warm back up very easily. But yeah, I do like this thing. It's different. Just like me, bit odd in shape, but it works. Now, airsoft as a whole. How can I sum up airsoft as a whole? Well, it's like any other company. A, a company makes a product. B, that company wants to sell that product to C, make money. In the East is there, as I've forementioned, quality control can be a little bit lax, along with many other things, as proven by KWA. It's annoying. Sorry to bang on about it, guys, but it really does grind my gears like the KWA did to itself because they'd not put them in right. I'm not letting this one go really, am I? But anyway, let's get past that. Let's, let's move on. There are good companies out there. Double Bell, Golden Eagle, New Pro, which is now Vosk, Raven, and somewhere else, God knows what. The AI AK-21, not missed a beat in over three years. New Pro Freedom Fighter, same gearbox, same internals, not missed a beat until I fiddled with it. And now I've got to put a selector plate in it. <sighs> yeah, sometimes it pays to go for the cheaper one and then upgrade them. Like I've done with the double bell, which has now got a base warhead motor in it. Red Dot Engineering gears, which made it exceptionally quiet and no cogging whatsoever, or whiny gears. I think the next thing will be the barrel, maybe. The piston and the cylinder, cylinder head, piston head. And then we'll see from there how it goes. Anyway, airsoft as a whole. You get what you pay for. 
in the real steel world you can pay up to fucking 50 grand for some of these things like mp5s the original ones 50 odd grand plus it'll break it's made out of metal you pull the trigger metal on metal eventually wears out and some it breaks it's just the way of the world these things are you looking at a couple of hundred quid upwards all right maybe 100 and odd quid and then upwards so that double bell for the sake of a few pennies 200 quid for the sake of another 125 quid still makes that cheaper than the kwa and that's now better than the kwa build quality is about the same but i've got to admit that the paintwork on the kwa is much far super like it much more it's it's flat and it, it's dark and it, it it's right where it's a bit shiny but i can paint that for another 80 quid it's still not going to be as costly as that thing <coughs> so there you go guys airsoft in a nutshell things will and do break in them quality control is not up to standard for us you want something put together properly and unfortunately in the east they do not they just slap them together fire them out the door sell them to us idiots then we take them apart and correct all their cock ups so yeah still cheaper than a bolster armory one though but apparently they're exceptional. I've not touched one yet. But on that, they are cheap, like I said. And they're not made of the best metals, like I've said. If you want the best metals in it, you can upgrade them. And that's part of their business model. Send them out, base platforms, then they can add all them extra bits in that we also sell and it ends up costing them what we would have sold it for originally which is probably anywhere between 100 and 200 quid dearer than what the base price is so do we have the right to moan a little bit you don't use it once and then it breaks you don't send it off to get it fixed and it comes back and you use it a couple more times and then it breaks I'm still moaning about it, ain't I? Tell me to shut up. In the comments, tell you what. All of you, tell me to shut up moaning about it. Get on with it. Fix the damn thing. Make KWA look stupid, which I have done. Because I fixed it and I'm a novice. And they're supposed to be professionals at putting these things together. <laughs> no, they sure have dishonoured themselves. And uh, the cheaper makes have made them look stupid, in my eyes. And approving it. Good build quality, far cheaper, and it bloody works. So let's hope they uh, pick up on their quality control, which would make me really happy. Armour of works, have. Lovely, lovely thing. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, on that note, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate all you subscribers that are signing up to my channel and watching my stuff. I'm going to do more sort of repairy type stuff. I may go a little bit more in depth, not to um, Luke's extent, but you know novice extent things that novices can do like barrel swaps and cleaning replacing rubbers and stuff like that and definitely more gameplay stuff which i'll probably chuck some clips in this don't know yet maybe anyway probably not it's gone on long enough this rant and moan and point out of the good stuff and this that and the other so anyway on that note 
thanks for watching until next time guys be safe play safe always call your freaking hits